We've made it wider and slimmer, and that creates visual width when you're looking at the front of the car. And that makes the car look more sporty, makes it look more dynamic, and it makes it look more luxurious and elegant. We are here today in sunny Australia, in Queensland. We are testing the brand new Bentley Continental GT, which we have found out is extremely well named. We are here with Chris Cook, and he will bring us through all the little details that have made the latest Continental GT way better. With the redesign of the new Continental GT, we started with a new platform, and a new platform means new proportions. So with this car, we were able to increase the prestige mass, the distance between the lower of the A-pillar to the front axle of the car. And what we've done is actually increase that by moving the front wheel further forward of 135 millimeters. It also lengthens the bonnet, which has meant that we can have a shorter front overhang, a longer rear overhang. And again, these are proportions that allow the car to be a true Grand Tourer. This line actually runs back and creates this crease line that runs through the car. And that takes out the visual mass as well. Because actually, proportionally, this car isn't a lot bigger. Wing mirror to wing mirror is actually smaller but it looks like it's lower and wider than the previous version, and that's through some of these design features in these lines. So if we look at the front of the car, now this is the famed Bentley grille. We've dropped the grille further down, and we've made it wider and slimmer, and that creates a visual width when you're looking at the front of the car. And that makes the car look more sporty, makes it look more dynamic, and it makes it look more luxurious and elegant. What are the other things about this car that you enjoyed Putting together. The shape of this vent was actually inspired by the Bentley B itself and we have also the 12 there. Now that denotes the W12 engine that we run the car with and we've also incorporated these brand new crystal cut headlamps. So the technology used in the headlamp means that you can run full beam but the headlamps detect when oncoming traffic comes and actually turns off certain lights in the headlamp so you don't blind oncoming traffic. It also means we're able to incorporate daylight running lights in these tiny little triangles which create a really unique effect around the ring of the front lamp. It's so noticeable when you see it coming down the street, you know straight away, well, that's a Bentley GT. All the panels on this car are made from aluminium. And what we really want to do was really show off these key lines that we have from the R-Type Continental of 1952. And to do that, we used a process called aluminium superforming which is where you heat up huge pieces of aluminium to 500 degrees and form them. Now, that gives you great definition in the lines that you can see here. You can see where these smooth surfaces meet these really sharp lines. And the challenge with this car was to really enhance them, really bring them out so the car looks more dynamic, almost more aggressive in its stance, more unforgiving. You have the largest super formed material piece in the world in yep. this car. Yeah, which goes from the A-pillar here all the way back to the end of the car here and round to the front. So this all the way to here is one piece. Absolutely, which is why we have minimal split lines on the car. Now that's inspiration we've taken from the aircraft industry. One of the aircraft we looked at was the Spartan Executive. That was an aircraft that was around in the 1930s, but it still looks incredible today. So you know on an aircraft where the fuselage meets the wing, you have these huge curvaceous yeah. surfaces. And at the end of the wing, you have these really, really sharp lines. So you have these huge curvaceous surfaces meeting this really defined line, which gives you a load of contrast and it creates a lot of impact, a lot of dynamism in the surfacing and the overall feel and effect of the car. So the, the shapes, the haunches and the stuff, that is historical. Absolutely. But the sharpness yep. is something you guys have just added. It's a brand new execution. Okay, yeah, behind the cars, you mm -hmm. really see this like a cut sharpness and it's yeah. really pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you see it in real life, when the light hits the paneling, yeah, that's I think when it just you're, explodes. And it yeah, just when you were incredible. talking about the shadows, you were talking about all, that's where it all came out. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. absolutely. Because we know a Bentley GT, it's an iconic car, it's going to be around a long time and we want people to look forward to, to driving it and to know when they've got it in their garage, it's still going to look good. Yeah.